Hello and welcome back to Enlighten Us, your easy path to learning Arabic. You are joining us today for lesson 16 and we are looking at the present tense, al mudare. Now let's have a look at a selection of words. We've got yakhrujuna, takhruju, nakhruju. What you'll notice about this words, similar to when we looked at the past tense, is that we have letters that are consistent. So the kha, the ra, the jim is consistent across all three words. And then we have additional letters. We've got the ya here and the wa and noon, the ta, and then again, the noon. So there's varying um, prefixes and suffixes. And that's because this is a fail, this is a verb, and it's distinct from uh, an ism or a, or a harf because it exists in a particular tense. In this case, we're looking at the present tense. And in terms of the present tense, the prefix, so the ya, the ta, the nun, and at times this combines with a suffix, so in yakhrujuna we've got the una, uh, there as well and that denotes the pronoun so that denotes who is taking action who is doing what so yakhrujuna we know that they go out uh takhruju you go out nakhruju we go out and it's that uh, prefix and in this case the suffix combined with the prefix that's given us that piece of information now before we go out um, before we go and we have a look at the chart for all of the various doers, for all the various pronouns, let's remind ourselves of the pronouns. So, huwa, huma, hum, hia, huma, hunna, enta, entoma, entum, enti, entoma, entunna, ena, nahnu, nahnu. And of course, I'm sure you've memorized the pronouns by now. Now, let's have a look at our chart. Now let's have a look at our chart for the present tense. Huwa yakhruju, huma yakhrujani, hum yakhrujuna, hiya takhruju, huma takhrujani, hunna yakhrujna, anta takhruju, antuma takhrujani, antum takhrujuna, anti takhrujina, antuma takhrujani, Antunna takhrujna, ana akhrujo, nahnu nakhrujo, nahnu nakhrujo. And a couple of things to, to point out, or rather to remind you, similar to the past tense, uh, the pronoun, the doer, is implicit in the fil, it's implicit in the verb, uh, which is why it's greyed out. So, yakhrujo on its own translates to he goes out, takhrujo on its own translates to she goes out. The pronouns are just there to aid and to help with memorization and learning uh, in the beginning. But the fil uh, on its own includes or is inclusive of the of the pronoun. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second, second thing to note is that this chart can be used as a template for other uh, afal, for other verbs. Uh, let's have a look at this in practice. Let's take the fail. Yadkhulu, he is entering. We have huwa yadkhulu, huma yadkhulani, hum yadkhuluna, hiya tadkhulu, huma tadkhulani, hunna yadkhunna, anta tadkhulu, antuma tadkhulani, am Antum tadkhuluna, anti tadkhulina, antuma tadkhulani, antunna tadkhunna, ana adkhulu, nahnu nadkhulu, and nahnu nadkhulu. Now before we move on, um, I want to have a, a little bit of a, a disclaimer here uh, in terms of the chart that we looked at. So the chart we looked at, similar again to the past tense, it's specifically for what we call al afal or thulathiya, and then sometimes you'll see them as referred referred to as form one verbs. And these are verbs that have three letters only. But we'll be we'll be looking at the other forms 
in later lessons and we'll be looking at the charts for those forms as well. We have come to the end of the lesson. We've been looking at present tense verbs. So let's have a little bit of a summary. Let's have a molachas. So we've, we said that verbs are different from the ism or the huruf for that matter um, because they exist in a particular tense. So in this case, we were looking at specifically the present tense. In terms of denoting the pronoun or the doer of a particular action, a particular verb, the present tense uses a prefix. Sometimes the prefix is accompanied with a suffix. We looked at specifically form one and form one are verbs with three letters and we looked at the pattern for form one. And the chart that we looked at, it can be used a template for other three letter verbs. And of course, as always, where there is a chart, there is a reminder to memorize. So please do go back and memorize the charts that we've looked at today. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Do check out the description box for additional resources. See you in the next one, inshallah.